I this conference that. will now be recorded. So you're already familiar with that UX design, right? So you know very well that you know, what is a great system on that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay. No, just now we'll, we'll continue from there. Okay. So okay. Uh, I, I, I uh, hope that, you know, you, you didn't practice that few of the components, which is, you know, uh, designed with uh, JavaScript support. If I'm not wrong. No, no I didn't use yeah. JavaScript. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll start that and we'll focus on other other things as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sharing my screen. Uh, let me know if you're able to see. Okay. So you you verified that same uh, version number five or any other versions? Version five, and I can oh, now I can see. No. You're able to see, right? Yeah. Now I. Okay, I mean, how, how do you practice that? You copied that uh, CDN link in your local, or how do you? Uh, no, so uh, I found this um, tool on our website. One sec. I mean, which website it is? Yeah, I'm uh, pasting it. Mm -hmm. It came with the thing. Uh, I'll put paste in the chat. So if you like, it, you can see what each uh, component or anything can do, and then um, it has a function to try it. So if you click M. Okay. You just have to click M on your thing. Okay. And then okay. if you click on any and you keep going through it, um, eventually it shows like a, a okay. try it out thing. Like if you click the arrow buttons. Mm -hmm. you Sometimes there's a try it option. It's not for every single okay. one, but yeah. Okay, so SVG we discussed already, right? Yeah. This SVG and Sprite also we discussed. Do you remember that we need to make sure to now add that yeah background positions, right? Multiple images in the one one image, right? You remember it? I don't remember. No, no, we we discussed it, right? So uh, uh, let us say that you know if you want to install, if you want to place image, right? Instead of making all the individual images, we can keep all the images in one one image, small icons, and we'll we'll uh, move that background positions to place that. Right in the CSS sprites. I mean, we saw that examples. Anyway, this we tried already. If, oh, you, if you remember? Yeah. No, I do. You should not forget it. At least, you know, see, the point is, you know, you may forget the syntax, okay? Mm -hmm. that, so that, you know, you will get in the internet. The yeah, syntax and all, okay? Mm -hmm. But the point, you know, you should not forget that, you know, what exactly it is. Because mm -hmm. when you, when somebody asks you, you know, hey, uh, work on this, uh, you know, using the sprite. Okay. If you know this, you know, you will get a lot of resources on the internet, but you are not aware or if you are not understand what exactly it is, you cannot get anything, no. See, that, I know that, what it is, I just it, forgot the name. Yeah, I mean, that is what I know, that is what I'm saying, you know, you should not forget that name. So, please, you know, the technical terminologies, you should, uh, you know, uh, uh, make sure to remember all of them. Mm -hmm. This icon also we discussed, right? Font also mm -hmm. we did. Yeah. And this is a boost. I mean, whatever the uh, I mean, going forward, maybe, maybe you know, in real time, when you get a job, you know, when you are, uh, you know, uh, uh, placed in any of the big project, don't worry that, you know, always there will be option for only for, you know, bootstrap or font awesome. There will be other icons as well with the font, which we are not aware. But mm -hmm. the point is, uh, you know, uh, so end of the time, this is the only process to call the icons, like, you know, let takes that a class and this class will be going to change yeah where is that 
other one, I mean, I don't know. Okay, so the point is no, so okay, let us take the start. What is going to happen? Okay, it redirects to code pen. What is, I think, is there, no? Yeah, I think you have to go uh, keep clicking arrow and then it will tell you what to do. I mean, this is, I don't suggest this kind of UI for sure. <laughs> I think okay. that's a glitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the point is this class is going to be changed for sure. Mm. But the way and approach will be same and, and probably some for some of the uh, fonts, you know, instead of I, you may see any different uh, element. Now we are saying that, you know, I element here, I tag. Yeah. So probably you may see span. So there is no, uh, you know, impact on that. But what you have to understand is the structure will be same. So there will be a font for sure, the TTF file, the TOV file and some CSS for it. And they're going to provide some before after uh, codes as well. But you really no need to bother that you know how they made that. So what you have to understand is you know how you utilize it in your application. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is good. for example, if you use font awesome, so the default class will be changed from BA to FA, and it will be like you know FS iPhone heart iPhone fill. If this class is part of the font awesome, the icon will be I mean, okay, you can able to see the icon. Icon will be appear. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, now you are seeing that in you know, a bootstrap, so that they have been used that in you know, a bootstrap related class. Tomorrow, in your application, once you you know got a placement, you know you may see like a different font over there, but the structure, everybody, whatever the frameworks or libraries and all these fonts, for sure they will provide us some documentation. Otherwise, nobody would uh, you know get a chance to implement uh, those fonts in, into the applications. Everybody will provide the documentation, like you know, how Bootstrap is providing, how Font Awesome is providing, how Google Fonts is providing the documentation, right? Mm -hmm. In the same, everybody will provide docs and examples, both of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm not just saying we'll do fonts, okay? I'm still, I mean, I'm, I'm saying statement, it will be, uh, you know, same for, kind of a frameworks like a bootstrap also tomorrow so there will be like you know other uh, frameworks as well let us say that you know for example uh, responsive framework top responsive css frameworks let us see like you know browser what browser stocks will gives us Okay, you can see that you know UI kit, foundation, skeleton, bootstrap, bulma, semantic UI, materialize. Right? Let us say an example that you know uh, in your application people are using that you know this foundation. Okay, so what is the website for this? Let us foundation framework. Okay. So the point is everybody will give you some information about it. Like let's say getting started, you can click. Is it use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to help to create all kind of awesome thing? Okay. Mm -hmm. HTML template, foundation form. Yeah, tutorials we have here, right? Okay, there are a lot of uh, you know video tutorial as well in the YouTube. Okay, so I put it somewhere. Is it is it like a open source or not? Okay, so it okay, we really don't need to bother about that. You know whether it is a uh, open source or free. Okay. Maybe okay. if client is interested, they can purchase that uh, whatever the framework it is. If they are not affordable, we'll go with that in a free of any free of the framework like a bootstrap. Bootstrap 4.2 and 5, both versions are until uh, uh, we go beyond that, you know, the requirement, it will be like a free of cost only. Right. Mm -hmm. And if you see this, it's installation process and all everything they gave. Set up general. XY grid. Yeah, they also use that some grid. Yeah, see, in the day, it is the same thing only, right? Yeah. If you see that full width cell, this is a full width cell, full width cell. 
six cells six cells right it's a kind of a grid system obviously mm. all right and when yeah. you tc the typography this is the same way how bootstrap is really giving right mm -hmm. and when we check that another list order list and all of them and when we check that navigation menus so this is how the menus is coming drop down menu what exactly it is okay we may have this drop down menus okay so what you have to do is uh, the same you remember right how we copied the code and you know we placed in our, our, our html page right so in the same way only we have to do that okay so what my intention you know is behind this to tell all these points going forward if you see any of the framework don't fear that okay in the day the only uh, you know, point that you should understand all these frameworks will be built with html css javascript only there is no separate language behind they are using but what we have to understand is what is their documentation to in order to make a, a site to non-responsive to responsive what exactly they are providing us and what is their grid system what is their components how they are giving the drop downs and all how they are giving that you know that javascript uh, accordions and all mm -hmm. because those are the very common you know uh, elements in the website right yeah and the question yeah. so just please so for bootstrap it's uh, usually like 12 columns there's a setting mm -hmm. is there a way to change that mm -hmm. sorry what is the last last point that is you is there a way to me? is there a way to change it like and yes i mean see the point the, the point is you know when, when you see that actual you know bootstrap grid system and if you like and i plan to explain that the grid system uh, as well like this way so let us you know first focus on that uh, i'm not actually telling that you know uh, bootstrap or foundation or any other framework first we should understand you know what is the grid system you know if you observe any of the website commonly nowadays all the kind all the websites you know that we see okay so uh, let me open any of the website like whatever the website that initially that you gave me right the same mm -hmm. we, we built already this right yeah this one okay so if you remember uh, in, in in initial sessions itself you know i told you one clear thing that you know when you are seeing the application or when you are seeing a website don't see the content first yeah. okay mm -hmm. make sure to understand my, my all my statements okay Mm -hmm. So don't see the content or don't focus on image, don't focus on the text or don't focus on animations. Don't. You, what you have to focus is you have to divide all the websites into multiple blocks. Right? Mm -hmm. Multiple blocks in the sense, let us say, uh, what is this? We have a paint, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, exactly. It is. It's not given correct. But what we can do now, we can take that print screen here. Let me. Chicken. Okay, so forget about this entire, uh, you know, address bar and all, okay? Mm -hmm. So now what you have to understand here is, as I told you, do not focus on the content. What you have to do is you have to divide that, okay? All your uh, website, like what are the website that you are seeing, you have to divide this these blocks, right? If you see mm -hmm. this, if you observe this, whatever you have right if you observe this 
the content has been to middle middle align and the same space you were seeing left and right right mm -hmm. and when you see that this container and you can see like you know two box over there forget about that and whether it has a uh, border radius or not you really no need to think about it and what is the space within this boxes also you should not think about it this that that is not actually your primary uh, focus mm. okay and when it comes to bottom okay we didn't took right so but yeah you understand right when you score this yeah. so this is another box see you have to divide that once you divided that then it is very easy for you even though without a bootstrap or any of the css framework still you can build your own website i mean own responsive code Hmm. You're getting my point. Yeah. Because all these boxes are a grid only. So now, if you observe this paint, this paint now, this is that hundred percent grid. The one which we are seeing first. The second one also hundred percent grid. And if you observe within that, we have some space. So there will be like a one more internal grid which covers the entire middle space. And within that, you have a same now if you observe these two right it has the same kind of width so 50 percent and 50 percent here yeah right mm -hmm. and when you come to bottom what you are observing here there is a 100 percent grid is there and in 100 100 percent grid what you have to observe here there is a two grids internally right yeah this is the one grid and this is the one more grid and what exactly uh, div is containing this there will be one more div which starts from here and ends here then only you can give a proper space mm. okay so what how you have to understand the, here it is no i'll tell you i'll take you know another thing okay so this is 100% width of div, right? And what mm -hmm. we have noticed is here, there is a one grid which let us say this much of width and let us say this much of width. Yeah. But do you think it is the right approach as per my explanation so far? Or, or did, did I miss anything here? according to you what about the space in the middle yeah exactly so not in the middle this mm -hmm. this middle we can cover uh, anyhow because this middle we can increase the width of this div so it will be here only till it this, till this point only we can do that but what exactly point that we have to understand we uh, we no need to focus on this outer 100 percent width right but yeah. what we have to focus on it whatever the elements that we are seeing see the space okay this space and this space it should be equal mm -hmm. then only we can able to say proper ui so how can we give that proper space and a proper left from margin or proper right I mean, proper margin right how can we give a individually to this element and this element so we have to give a proper margin left to this and we have to give a proper margin right to this which is very difficult and doesn't make any sense and that is not the right way of doing so instead of that now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw again now now this is the correct approach okay see how i'm making and you can tell me like what is the difference between these two So the main difference is you have all the elements together that are similar in one. Yeah. Hey, so uh, the, the thing is, you know, let us assume that, you know, there is a requirement that, you know, we have to divide it like, you know, uh, instead of two boxes, we have to divide it three or four boxes. Okay. Yeah. End of the day, whether it is a two boxes or three boxes or six boxes, what we have to understand is we have to take care of this entire internal container because it should be equal and it should be centered, centered to this main box, right? 
Yeah. So enter to main box. What we have to we to kind of separate the box so that we really no need to worry about how many boxes or how many grids we can place in the inside. Hmm. Right. So this is a hundred percent, and this is exactly middle. And whatever the content that you are putting inside this middle div, the content will not be you know uh, overlapped with the, this this box width. It will be not be overflow for sure. Yeah. Right. So mm -hmm. that end of the day, when you when you see the layout, you can see like hundred percent of it, and whatever the screen size it is, so the all the content will be placed in the center only. Yeah. So you really no need to give that you know the margin left for this box and margin right for this box. All this huge stuff we no need to do. Hmm. You are getting my point. Yeah, I get. It. Yeah. So this is how you know in generally the grid system works. So once you understand this concept, okay, maybe it takes more time. Okay, without Bootstrap or without any framework, you still you can also build a website. So you can find in you know, a lot of uh, you know uh, uh, articles or you know YouTube videos that where they can explain that you know proper response to without writing any framework. But definitely it takes time. And it takes time and we need to make sure to test all the devices whether our code is working in a correct way or not. And the biggest problem that we may have is that you know, the browser compatibility. Yeah. Right. A browser mm -hmm. compatibility. And that you know we need to test that all the devices. And the the biggest problem that we may have is you know when we are actually we are only talking so far about the you know, website and you know CSS and colors and all this only, but we are not actually thinking about the you know, that interactive or dynamic designs like you know, the, like I said like you know um the uh, carousel loading carousel animation or accordions, yeah. okay, or models. We were not talking about all of them. So when once, once you want to put all of them in your website, you must need as additional CSS and JavaScript and whenever you are doing those right you should think uh, even still till you, you have to think how you can build within the response like so you can able to do response but it is not easy it is easy task when the application scope is going to be increased more 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 every day yeah right mm -hmm. so i mean which exactly area that you will be focused you cannot focus on you no know, response you cannot focus on the you no know, uh, 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 what we call that you know that uh, browser difficulties you cannot focus on you know, all the other elements like you know as i told you like uh, uh, javascript related stuff which includes that response you right how many mm -hmm. times i mean how many uh, places you will be there and you can focus on all of them right it will be a difficult task so yeah. all these frameworks will be really easy you know they they made our job is very you know if you if you go for any other framework i'm not actually suggesting the bootstrap that why i, I took the bootstrap since long time to move my students like because when it was started it was started very slowly but you know you know in the in the period of time the the growth has been increased more still you can see like in you know, a top five frameworks css framework still bootstrap is there and so far like lakhs of websites and lakhs of applications has been built on bootstrap Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And I and I told you one more thing. You know, there will be. I'm 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 still telling that. You know, one more competitor also now coming and and probably yeah. takes time. Tailwind. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah, if you observe Tailwind also, what you have to understand is same. So the CSS so same way only they are going to provide, but they have so many classes when compared to Bootstrap. I have already noticed that, and I didn't work on Tailwind so far. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if, yeah, if you observe Tailwind, right? So the code will be same, but the classes when you are you know doing all these changes, yeah, the the uh, the root and basic things are same. Yeah. Even the grid system and as well, there will be a lot of stuff. That is what I'm saying, you know. So don't I mean try to learn Bootstrap, and apart from that, try to understand what exactly response how they Bootstrap made because Bootstrap is they provided everything. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that doesn't mean that you know we can still learn you know how they made uh, how they how they made and everything easier for us right there yeah. is an option because we are using their css mm -hmm. and whenever we click that uh, you know we can download that and we can open their css and what exactly classes that they have used we can still see them and still mm -hmm. we can learn right yeah yeah so yeah when we are talking about grid system like you know, the 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 main thing that you know in bootstrap as you said like right, it is a tall grid system yeah right mm -hmm. 
so the toll bridge system what you have to understand first of all there will be like a two layers in the web so far okay yeah. in the web application or website there will be only two layouts mainly one is that container layout and second one is container fluid layout in simple terms okay when we are talking about container layout the background will be whatever the screen it is it will be uh, increased for sure but when we are talking about container layout it will be center only always and it will be responsive this is the container layout mm. okay and okay. you may have a different i mean for headers you may have like you know long width of uh, uh, you know all these things but what you have to see is the internal layout and you know, the, the example is this one only right you can see this is that mm -hmm. you know 100% of width this this header and this footer they did not provide any background color to header okay but still we can see the same kind of color but they provided like a background color to footer so now you can see the same layout only i have uh, uh, you know drawn here right Mm -hmm. I made same if you observe this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is what actually you should understand. Because when you see this border, right? This border is starting from this 0 0.2, 100 point. So, what you have to understand here, okay, there will be for sure the 100% of div uh, uh, we, we need to make sure. Otherwise, if there is no border, no, let us, let me uh, no, remove this border first of all, where exactly it is coming. We don't know this CSS is too complicated. CSS. This one. Don't know where they made. Background color is this. Okay, border bottom. Hmm. Now see. If you observe this, there is no border, right? Yeah. In, in such a case, you don't need a hundred percent of uh, header here because the layout will be started from here. You can take a container layout only. Only for footer only, you can give a hundred percent of it, right? Mm -hmm. Make sense? You I mean you are, uh, you understand that? What yeah. exactly you know I'm explaining? Yeah. yeah. So as long as we we uh, you know had uh, this uh, border, I mean that is already uh, designed by UX team and approved by client. So we should understand that when we are seeing, okay, instead of that, uh, uh, what you call that, you know, uh, background width under, let me reload this. Somewhere we saw that, you know, the background color as well, right? Mm -hmm. mm, now, See, if you see something like this, now also it will be same. You need a hundred percent of border. How we are, we are, we were talking about uh, footer, right? In the same way, only you should think about it, right? Mm. Yeah. So this is a purely container layout, not exactly container fluid, because even though if you should see the header and footer, the colors been and that entire div from started from here and ended here but actual content is not a container fluid actual content is also container only because we clear we can see clearly this box here right when you are talking about like a four sites yeah you're able to understand like my, my mouse movements right yeah yeah but there will be a different when we are talking about the container fluid so that will be like you know all this will be started from here and this account will be here and this image will be somewhere here and it will be expand till this and this will be expand but the definitely the layout will be different because we cannot you know stretch out these images and uh, this content the layout will be for sure it will be different for sure you know when we see like you know uh, let me what uh, what is the flip cut or Amazon? No, see, this is a container only. So mm. most of the time, like you know, people won't uh, uh, do that container fluid because when the size is increasing, right, the content will be, uh, yeah. 
yeah even when we when we go with that you know, that thing yeah now you see yeah this is purely purely container fluid header header because the content is starting from here and you know, whatever the um, oh. screens that we are seeing uh -huh. right? but, but again this layout is again a container only mm. right yeah Yeah, even till till yeah till this uh, footer yeah again this is like and of course they has to give like this based on the screen but yeah mm -hmm. if you observe this right mm -hmm. this is a container fluid only this header and this and this mm -hmm. you getting that yeah yeah this is the I mean uh, 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 difference between container layout and container fluid layout. So most of the cases people will go with the container layout only because uh, when you open um, most probably people want to verify uh, you know uh, websites in long uh, I mean wide screens right that is not mm -hmm. going to happen in general if you take that you know uh, how many people are going to use uh, like you know um, nowadays people are using only mobile device right max to max mobile tablet or maximum laptop only yeah they won't check websites in their tvs agree or not agree yeah so that scenario won't come so whatever the devices that they are using and it should be like you know not completely uh, and and even it, it looks also like you know uh, weird that you know something is stretching wantedly mm -hmm. right but yeah when this case is yes we cannot do anything this is a requirement only now if you see that one two three four five six seven eight nine twelve so it started from hall and ends with i am agent out in right mm. and if you see they're actually increasing the options here when that device is really you know uh, uh, the, the actual space is increasing right yeah see i mean it makes sense because uh, they want to highlight all of them when when you know people uh, see uh, amazon website in large screens they they felt like you know i mean the users end users should not be felt okay something is stretching here and they can see all the links on all here right mm -hmm. so they definitely they won't feel like that but when you see actual screen it ends it this only oh. yeah and all the other options that maybe they are providing here are somewhere we don't know that and how they actually planned it is completely based on that you know, user experience yeah any question no question okay so now as i told you how you know uh, uh, bootstrap has div divided that you know container and container fluid okay but when we are talking about the grid system so first you have to decide that we are going to with the container layout or container fluid layout so when you need a uh, now container layout so i'm not actually going to explain any practical things today so i'm just explaining that you know like how it will be so that you know you can still practice that you know okay so how it will be when you go with that container right so the code will be like this only do class is equal to container div okay or else and I, I am not sure like you know still uh, a booster of price is supporting that fluid or not but in in uh, three uh, version three and version four four we have this fluid mm. okay but the point is when you really need a container you can use a container but when you really need a container fluid you no need to use the container fluid because the width will be when you use that html5 semantic element or tvs it will be by default 100 percent width only you can apply class to it okay right right mm -hmm. you're getting right yeah so when it when it comes to grid system i told you i mean you, you I, I told you that it will be tall and you also verified that it will be done so how we are actually dividing that okay so for that what we need is we need a row first to place that grids we need a one row so even though when you uh, take this your class equal to container and you so you must place one row here okay 
this is mm. these are the standard uh, you know uh, element and classes which we have to write then only you can decide that how many grids you need let us say if you if you think this layout right how many grids we need now this container has a hundred percent width right yes I'm, I'm i'm not saying that container width within the container i'm talking uh -huh. so the container width will be in pixels only oh. okay container okay try to understand the statement okay container width will be pixels only then only you can able to see what irrespective of screen size then only you can able to see container in the middle when you add a width as a pixels but when oh. you give a percentage it will it will not be central line for sure mm -hmm. because the percentage always will be with the screen width only right yes so if you zoom you're getting out, my point yeah, i get it oh, sorry you so if you it? Zoom yeah out, it will be different it wouldn't look like this yes 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 so yeah so when you have a uh, when you want to make a container it will be pixels only the width will be so you no need to focus on what exactly container width you want to give so when you use a container automatically the container will be uh you know uh, the, the the width whatever it is designed in the bootstrap and what they have written will be there only but the actual point is within the container how much space you have 100 percent exactly so that 100 percent you have to divide how many boxes you need now if you see if you assume that this is a container how many boxes you have here uh two exactly and if you see that what is the box width if you are if I, if I ask you like you know what is the box width you know you no need to say exactly but roughly when you see the layout like 2000 no, 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 no. See, what I'm talking about now, no, no, don't say pixels because we are talking about that container width. Container is a clearly uh, a statement that it will be in a pixels. But within the container, how much width we have? We have a hundred percent. In the hundred percent, we have to divide two boxes, right? As you said, it will be two. two. So, how much each box will be uh, with how much width it will be for each box? 50 percent yeah 50 percentage yes mm -hmm. so in such a case we have to build that two divs here yeah so this is the basic thing next once we, we have to put that in row only in row it will be when you're talking about this is a row all we have to make all we have to build it, columns Mm -hmm. okay so columns in a sense like you know right so when we well, not this do we just do a block and inline for that no 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 flex only i mean internally oh. they are using flex only let's do let's think that you know it is 100 say container and it has 100 percent okay and mm -hmm. we have to make sure first create a one row in each row we have to build a columns so how many columns we can place maximum 12 only okay mm -hmm. maybe i took like you know a, a, a bigger width but yeah like this just assume that you know forget about this width or how much it will be but what you have to understand is all width has the same and the count will be maximum 12. Mm. now divided by 100 divided by 12 how much it will be approximately uh, like eight nine yeah eight point three three percent is approximately if you if you check that you know in calculator also mm. 100 divided by 12. Mm. right so yeah. what what will be the if you want to place 12 columns here what will be the width of each column it will be, it will be 8.33 percentage right mm -hmm. when when it will be 8.33 percent if you want to create a 12 boxes 
that the 12 boxes or you can say are 12 columns or 12 grids right yes but yeah. when you want to uh, instead of six you want to make only four then what yeah. will be the eight times four so 28 percent or 29 percent hey it, uh, then yeah. you have to do you know when you when you when, when i say that you know four boxes right uh -huh. So you have to, what you have to do is hundred percent divided by four. How much it would be? Twenty five. Yes, twenty five. So when when I say like you know make it three boxes, then how much it would be? It would be thirty three point thirty three percent. Yeah, exactly. So when I make that, when I say that, in the two boxes. Twenty percent. Two two boxes. Oh um. It will be 100, 100 divided by 2 only you have to hit. Oh, okay. You don't need to think much. Right? I was thinking boxes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, boxes, boxes in the sense, box width only, right? See, when I say yeah. that count is 2, I mean, you need to install, I mean, you need to place like 2 boxes, like you know, 2 columns. So the overall width I told you already, you know, you also agreed that you know, there will be 100% width inside the container, right? Mm -hmm. So the only thing is you have to decide that you know, how many boxes that you have to place inside that container. That is the only thing you need. You want to place two boxes. You want to place three boxes. You want to um, four boxes. You want to make that six boxes. Mm. Right. Yeah. And when you want to make only one column, how much width, width, width it would be? Hundred percent. Exactly. So the same logic only we uh, we have applied here. 50 50 and when you say this when you say this one two three four okay not not not, not actually making like this okay so first one is this car this is hundred percent wix second container within the container what we have is there are two options here one is that you can make one two three four five right how you are going to divide them 5 by 12 at the same time not uh, uh, all the columns are uh, uh, does not have a same width now you can divide like 2 2 and uh, 2 so how much completed so far 2 2 2 how much completed so far uh, 50 percent yeah so that means the count what is the count 6 right mm -hmm. yeah 2 2 2 it will be 6 so when you check that box is count it should not be more than 12 that is what 12 that is where that is why it, you know it is a 12 grid system the width it should not be more than 100 percent and when you count the column column value also it should not be more than 12 mm -hmm. right so now i want to give 2 2 2 right yeah. How much completed so far? 50% is completed, but 2, 2, 2. Okay, six. 2 plus 2 plus 2, 6. So how much left do we have? 6 more. 6 more. So now I want to give like a 4 and 2. I can divide, right? It's my own choice. Yeah. I can divide it like that. Or else I can make that 3, 3 also I can give. Or else I can give 5 or 1. That is a one way of do, doing this. Okay, that is a one way of approach. But what is the second way is the same way but the point is instead of dividing uh, you know everything in, in an individual let us create a one more uh, you know row okay where dividing this entire part of the separate and this entire part of the separate mm. that is another kind of another approach and when you take that so you can take that eight four you can add, oh. you can take nine three so within the nine you can create a one more row obviously when you're talking about nine it will be obviously 100 percent space is there within the nine right yeah and then you can give within the nine three 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 mm. that is how you should think okay got it hey, one second huh? one second mm -hmm. one second
Okay. Yeah, you're getting right. So, yes. but there is no, there is no like you know, uh, 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 as I told you, two approaches. Okay, there is no rule that you know you have to use it. But most of the cases, what I prefer is a second option because we, we can have a more control on it because we can mm. divide these two boxes, right? Yeah. And uh, we don't need to worry about that, you know, how it will be undone. So, yeah. So, I mean, sometimes we can go with the option number one also. But, yeah, that is purely uh, depending on how the layout and all. And, and all, yeah. Anyhow, it's, it's our call only. There is no strict rule that, you know, we have to use like that only. But when we are uh, adding, like, you know, one more rail, we may have, like, a pure control. Because, let us say, when you see... Uh, you know, uh, maybe we are seeing right now in the laptop. Here. When you see that, you know, in the uh, uh, what you call that uh, um, tablet view, let's assume that maybe the requirement uh, as per the US, the requirement is different. Like, you know, we need to show all of them in one frame and only this is at the end. That time, when you give that individual side, it will be difficult to place that, mm. right? So Otherwise, when you make it two different views, okay, for this entire area and this, so you can easily move that. Okay, so you need to you need to focus only on this. You can, you know, move uh, after this. I mean that slowly. Once you start practicing booster up and layout set, you will get it. Mm. Okay. So okay. now, you so far you understand that what exactly you know the grid system and right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One second. Yeah, so uh, now, now, okay, we we created uh, uh, containers, we created uh, 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 no, uh, rows, and we created columns, right? In the same way, why should we boost, why should we use the booster? The same way we can make in our own CSS also, right? Mm -hmm. Why we are going with the booster for this? Because it's already yeah, divided. So the yeah. yeah, so yeah, I mean, so that divide also won't take much time, right? You can take mm -hmm. like, you know, classes, right? So, say 80% and 20%, you can take two divs here. And for each mm -hmm. div, you can give you like, you know, common CSS as a 25% width. It will work, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the point is, when you really uh, implement in your own way, you are going, to, you will be focusing only on desktop division. Now, how about like a tablet and mobile and large screen devices? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... To resolve that, what is the classes that we have in Bootstrap is, I'm just giving an example here, class is equal to, we have it, we need to divide a column here. When you say that a column 6, let it is 60%, that is fine. Okay, let mm -hmm. us say that. How do you make it start to, like from 6 oh, to, how do you make it start from 6 to 12? Like if you um, want. I'm not getting your question. Like right now it's column 6, right? That means one, two, yes. three, four, five, six. Yes. That's where the thing is going to be. How do you make it? Um, or how do you write it so it's from six to twelve? Like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm still, still actually, no, I'm, I'm not uh, getting your question. Yeah. So um, right now on the column, okay. six, that counts for the first half of the fifty percent, right? Yes, you are right. For the second half of the 50%, like the right side? Yeah, right side only, obviously. Yeah. I mean, the same layout, right? We have seen here, right? The same way. Yeah, but right now it's only showing the image side, but how do I add, would we focus on the text side, the content side? So you can place one more here, no? Call iPhone 6 here. Oh, oh, okay. You don't have to do like 6 I mean, to no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand that. No, see, the only thing is, you know, you have to divide that first. Okay. So when you are checking that, you know, you should first thing like, you know, two things you have to keep in your mind. One is that when you observe that the width should be, uh, 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 no, equal to hundred percent, or maybe less than hundred percent, but mm. should not be 
more than 100%. That is the first rule you have to understand. And second thing is, when you are calculating the columns numbers, it should be either less than or equal to 12. There is no exact rule that you know we keep only 6, 6. Maybe sometimes the layout, maybe let's assume that you know this much of width is not there. Only in this much of width only we have, okay, in the layout. Let's assume that you know from wantedly we gave some space to it. So now in such a case, you can keep this 5. Mm -hmm. Now, if you if you count the bit, it will be less than hundred percent for sure, right? Because now calculate that six will be fifty for sure, and five into for each column it will be eight point three three, right? Now eight point three three into five, how it will be six forty one point six five plus fifty percent, how it will be total? It will be ninety one point six five less than hundred only, right? Mm -hmm. And when you count this 6, 5, it will be 11 only. So less than 12 only. See, it is adding the, I mean, creating the columns purely based on the, your layout. Okay. Yeah. Let's assume that, you know, your layout has not this much of width, less width only. Then you can increase, I mean, you can decrease that column width. There is no harm on it. I mean, it is a purely flexible. Or else let, let me give you one, one more example, right? you know, we have an image here, okay? Mm -hmm. And this right side part has divided as a two columns. Mm -hmm. Right? In such a case, how are you going to do? There are two options again. One is that three and three. What is the count total? It will be 12. 12. So how this layout would be looks like it'll be half on the left side and yeah. then so when yeah yeah when when you talk about this is a container mm -hmm. it'll be half the layout will be how 50 percent and then two on the right Right. Mm -hmm. This is the one way of doing it. And I told you that there will be another approach as well, right? So the approach is you are going to create class is equal to call iPhone six again, but you are going to close this div here. This is the second approach. Okay. Right. So I am I am dividing this entire space as a fifty percent. Within that, I am making that two. Why this problem? Will, I mean, why should we go with this approach instead of this approach? Some sometimes it really matters. Mm. Sometimes it really matters because now you are seeing this layout in desktop, which is like a laptop screen. Let's assume, but when it comes to mobile. Okay, I'm, I'm just clear uh, when closing it, but you understand this layout, right? Yes. Yeah. When it comes to mobile or tablet device, right? Let's assume this is the tablet we have. In such a case, Okay, so if you remember that previous layout, it is that in the desktop uh, view, we have a this 50% box and two boxes side by side, right? Now, mm -hmm. when it comes to same layout, it will become like this only. Why? Because just imagine, uh, we cannot make it, right? Yeah, what we can do is, yeah, let's assume it is, yeah we have a same uh, width of tablet let's assume in that way okay mm -hmm. now how how is the layout in the uh, desktop device it will be 50 percent one box
this is the same way in the desktop right yeah this is what we did but do you think that you know when the screen is shrinking from large screen to small screen do you think these two divs content will be fit here in a proper no. way no no right yeah. you're getting my point now yeah so when it comes to mobile obviously what people will suggest that you know all these two divs should come here like this that is how that response to people will make you know uh, in ux also mm. because this is a more readability right compared yeah. to this then yeah. otherwise what is the point of talking about responsive if everything will be same in the desktop view right mm -hmm. in all the devices what is the point no point make sense yeah yeah so in such a case right when i take a like you know another div around this so i i need to apply something to this main div only so that obviously it will be fit wherever this main this parent divs goes obviously it will be fit into this only right i no need to think about this first box and second box to align at bottom mm -hmm. now in 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 this case right the first approach i mean the the way i'm 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 dividing two now what i can do right so i need to apply something to this div only then whatever the columns we have with, within this div everything will be adjust automatically let us say this is a parent right this now very clear mm. and these are the two childs when i move parent obviously child also will come right yeah there is no much point to discuss but when you are talking about this three these are siblings here there is no parent this is the only parent we have row we can't take we cannot move the row here because the row will be fitted mm. now i need to talk to these two siblings and i need to instruct them that you know hey uh, the, you you both when it is a mobile i mean a tab device you both has to adjust when we are talking about in in this way this approach will be easy mm. right at the same time now now see that you know when it comes to mobile device right how it will be the same layout time mean, i was talking now you are you are that ux ux person you know you can give a better solution for this and which one how it will be in the mobile oh it would be uh similar similar okay let's assume yeah. that you know we have a mobile screen like this okay oh it'll be all and one two three like uh yes yeah. you're getting right yeah we, we cannot keep these two boxes here right mm -hmm. mm. so even though still it will be same only but in such a case what we have to write we then then such a case we have to write something to this because in mobile device uh, sorry in tab device it will be like a 50 50 percent but when it comes to mobile it has to be 100 percent the width mm -hmm. so for that apart from these calls we have a few more classes which we can define our device also in the class let us say that you know call iphone md iphone 6 what is stands for md medium device hmm. call iphone 12 what exactly meaning of this when we have a 6 it will be work as a 6 in the large screen okay not not call iphone 6 sorry call iphone lg iphone 6 lg for a large screen okay when you see the large screen it will be 6 when it comes to tab it will become as a 6 okay same when it comes to mobile it will be 12 so mm. these are the, i mean i'm not actually saying all of them from my own you know everything is written in bootstrap's yeah. website only yeah, i've seen that now we should we should check the docs lay breakpoints yeah, so we have classes extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, extra large. See, all these classes are not part of the previous versions. 
I mean, they are mm. actually adding one by one, one by one. And if you see MD, we discussed it. LG, we discussed it. SM. You know, as per uh, my knowledge, like you know, I worked with uh, many of the booster projects. The they he he. I mean, the team has been increased and adding more this extra large Excel and double Excel. It was not there in previous versions. Uh-huh. So I worked with S- SM stands for small devices. MD for MD. So what you have to understand here is. we have to tell the number how it will be how much width it should be in the medium device how much width it should be in the mobile device that also we can handle with that hmm right yes and we can write media queries instead of writing in you know, at the rate media uh, uh, minimum width to this much maximum width this much instead of writing we can use that media uh, uh, like this also Mm. I mean, this is the. I mean, instead of uh, uh, writing this, we can use this. But when we uh, actually integrate that actual Bootstrap with 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 SAS, otherwise you can use same classes. Minimum with five seventy. You you no need to focus on it. Just to copy all of them and put in your CSS folder, and you can write. You can start writing. Mm. Right. Yeah. And uh, angle breakpoints between breakpoints. No, it is not. Container. We discussed that container. How how container will be see? Container container SM container MD container fluid. We have see it is hundred percent right. Yeah. But I, what you have to understand for containers it will be until unless in the mobile device max to maximum it will be in pixels only for container. We I am talking only this container. In mobile device only, it will be hundred percent because in the mobile device we cannot give the pixels right? because the space will be very less. Mm. Yeah, but if you see from the small device onwards, it will be pixels only: five forty, seven sixty, seven twenty, nine sixty, eleven forty, thirteen twenty. Yeah, this mm. is the default container. We must use default containers. I don't, okay. I don't recommend this much of this much of uh, in detail. We don't really don't need. But if you need a container fluid layout, you can use the container. Grid also same. When you see columns, has same bit. When you want to, when you want to have a same bit, you don't need to mention any count. It seems you can simply give that call, call, call. Right? Yeah. Hmm. And see, call columns twelve. Call hyphen. You have to give some number on it. Yeah. So when you say call same width, when you see call again same width here, automatically it is taking. Uh, yeah, now this is the scenario. Call iPhone six they have given. So total this is the this is the row. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is the entire row. Within that row, one, two, three divs we have. Let's copy this. So that you will get some idea. So now see, we have row, and this is starting div, and this is the ending div. Call, call iPhone six, and call. So obviously, when you apply call without a number, it will take as one. yeah. I mean, not exactly one. It will become as obviously. See, <clears throat> you need to count first. We have already six, right? Mm-hmm. What else is missing here? I mean, how much we are left with? Another six. six. Yeah. It, yeah, it will take three, three. Oh, okay. Yeah, obviously. And then if you observe this, right, see, see, same. Mm. This is six and three, three. Okay. And when you see the second one, five. What else is missing? Seven. So it is auto. I mean, it is automatically just that. You know, that is what actually the the beauty of this. Mm. We'll take the same uh, kind of uh, uh, width only. Automatically it adjusts. So when we talk about seven, three point five, and three point five, we just need to calculate that. You know, uh, how much uh, it will be when we are talking about three hundred by three. We what we got something. So now three point five, how much it is? We have to calculate that. You know, we really no need to calculate all of them. See, the system is providing everything. You no, know, why should we calculate and why should we focus on it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So everything is written in clearly. Okay. See, like call, call, call eight and four. See. So when you add a only call, it automatically takes. When you really want a specific number, you have to define it on eight and four. 
because 8 and 4 will be 12 only when you, when you calculate both of them but you can't make that in the 8 and 5 you can give 8 and 2 because still it is less than that in the 12 grid number yeah right yeah yeah so any, any questions so far no question so what i would recommend you know i would just only or just only focus on uh, these classes only today don't to focus on any of the other stuff okay? okay so because when you are talking about bootstrap first you should understand this then only okay we can go for other topic okay as long this is the main thing and what is the second important thing is obviously components i'll explain you know uh, not all of them but what are the important things i'll explain and for all of for few of them you must need the javascript support as well and to in tomorrow's session we can discuss that and how to import the javascript file into html and what are the cdns how cdn is supporting for a javascript like how we are taking uh, uh, css uh, for cdns right in the same way mm -hmm. you understand that what stands for cdn and uh, is it i don't know <laughs> when you when when someone asks in the interview you will say the same answer <laughs> i don't know what it stands okay, for it's like, uh, but you understand the concept right yeah yeah okay content delivery network okay serious okay. stands for mm. Okay, so but you at least you understand you know what exactly the CDN it is and how we are actually consuming them, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, still, that much knowledge is fine, but yeah, but if you have that information also, that is fine. Otherwise, you know, because I, I'll say like now, what are the topics that you have to remember? It's a hard remember for sure. Okay, mm -hmm. but at least if you give this method of explanation, that is absolutely fine. But when it comes to subject, you have to remember all the technical terminologies, no matter what it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll focus on you know, components, but definitely I need this. Okay, I mean, I want you to practice this. Okay. Okay, so we'll do one thing now. I've, see, I've searched that. No, oh, sorry? I searched that before. You searched that? I see. Great. Mm. You can pick any one of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. But make sure do not, uh, you know, uh, 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 I mean, you can take a reference of it. Okay. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. But don't see the actual, uh, uh, I mean, a grid search the system that what they have used. You can pick any one of them. You can take this one also, like this one. Mm. Okay. As per this, you can write a bootstrap uh, grids here. And it is a, uh, when you see, uh, uh, you know, in the desktop, this is the layout. So mm. when you see mobile, this is the layout. At least you should think about it like you know well, how many grids that we have okay so first let us take this first part okay so we have a two grids here one two all right in mm -hmm. that okay this will be like a six and in next six we have a two uh you know not actually columns but when you see that we have a two rows this is a one row and this is the one row within this row we have a hundred percent of width of uh, uh you know a grid and when it comes to the second row, we have like a 50-50 percentage. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about this one, how they have defined is 336. Or you can divide that, you know, 6, 6. Within this 6, we have 1, 2, 2 grids. 1, 2. In the first grid, it will be like a 2, uh, you know, what we call that, uh, 2 columns. In that columns, first column itself, it will be like in a hundred percent. I mean, a hundred percent of it. And when it comes to the second, it will be this. It will be same. And when you're talking about this, it should be same. But yeah, you can pick any one of them. Okay, but try to understand that scenario. Once you focus on this, and when you once you uh, understand this, right, it will be very easy. You know, whatever the layout it is, you can understand quickly, and you can write code. But, okay. But what my suggestion is put all your efforts to understand this grid system. Okay. 
okay do not practice any css properties but this is very 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 important mm. it's not just for a bootstrap or responsive okay if you are not understanding this concept then all your uh, you know learning process will be wasted because you know properties but how you can you know uh, can uh, combine all of them and make a responsive layer that is a question mark right yeah you know you know all the properties you know like transition you know you know transform you know display you know a position then what is the use if i ask you to build a like you know responsive layer if i ask you give some task of you know grid system in bootstrap at least mm. okay so still i mean all of them you can build using with the display flex property also and we have actually property of display grid also okay display grid which is good bit bit complicated compared to display flex this is really bit complicated compared to see grid item 1 2 3 4 5 6 and you mm -hmm. see this code okay display grid the grid the template column we have to give all this you no know, information but there is no kind of display flex here yeah. so majority of the cases we are going to use you know display flex only but for understanding purpose you can still use that you know we will we'll see some examples for it when the we can take bootstrap examples only why not we can we can go with. see now if you see this is a container within the container we have a row and how many boxes we have 1 2 3 right we mm -hmm. need to place three boxes and three when you see three boxes obviously three should be equal right yeah and what is the maximum number we have is 12 Twelve divided by three, how much? Four. Oh. So you have to give a four only. Mm. That is that is how you should understand the things. When you see this, all of them is the same. And when you check that inspect element here for it, yeah, I mean that is the I mean one more point that you know when you need a same kind of it, you really don't need to put that uh, you know number. when you need mm. a customized one then only you can give right yeah mm -hmm. because the column itself is straight away dividing that when you use a column automatically it divides because we have flex here that is what i told you yeah when you check the parent no not this yeah when you see that row row has a display flex property in bootstrap right yeah so mainly booster be used for a flex only but once you understand flex and all you can just uh, have a look on you know a grid how exactly display grid is working on that because the properties and all will be bit complicated when compare with this because it is also gives same response grid also gives same when you select this grid it will it will come as a grid only like you know for flex also we, we get this same right but the properties will be bit different nothing else This is for content. See, for grid also we have same, mm. same properties working for this also, right? Yeah. So that is the reason I am telling that you know, just focus on flex so that once you understand flex, obviously you can work on any of them. When you see this is also like you know, call. You can give that call only here also. Call, call, call. And you see three boxes here. Let us say now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this edit as HTML. I'm copying this. I'm going to add at the end after this div edit as HTML. I'm going to place it. Now see okay. how many boxes will come. Okay, why it is actually not taking? Okay, align item stretch. Should not. Okay, okay. LG three. Oh, I see. If I make this LG four, it will work. Four boxes. Yeah. Yeah. This is the beauty. Hmm. So they have mentioned that for large screen, it will be three only earlier. So that is the reason that when we add a four additionally, it's not uh, 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 coming in the same line. Right. Yeah. Now we can see four of them. We can see. right 
Do you understand? Yeah. 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 Whatever the time, even though if you need a one more uh, extra day also, okay, we'll talk same thing. You know, I'm 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 not uh, going to explain any JavaScript tomorrow. We'll have a session, but we'll talk more on grids. But you should understand and you should practice. You know this uh, Bootstrap or Grid system. Then only we'll go for a next class. Mm. Clear? Yeah. Yeah. So this is. I mean, there is no like you know kind of that you know we cannot skip this so for the properties and all you can learn or you can take a reference from any internet and all that works but as long as you are not understanding the grid system you can't build a layout mm. whether if you use a bootstrap whether if you use a, any other framework you, you, you definitely cannot build a layout yeah. So you can take whatever the reference that you want. There are a lot of scope to learn in the Bootstrap. You can learn Bootstrap grid system and there will be free websites. You can download. You can check that premium templates or you can check normal templates. You can check that inspect element, whatever it is. Take like a more one more day of time or maybe two more days of time. I'm okay with that. Okay. okay. I can stop that. Stop in the sense like not. I'm not saying that I'm not going to uh, take the session because if I start telling that you know I'm not going to take session, you will. I'm not sure whether you will really practice it or not. Mm. Because when they when it is a session and then when somebody is asking, definitely will be uh, like you know uh, 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 keeping that in your mind and you will be practice. Okay, I believe that. Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. but the point is, we'll have a session and we'll discuss more about the grid system, or we'll practice and we'll do that. But not, I'm not going to start any new topic. That is what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. after this, what we need to focus on boost up content only for that we need a definitely JavaScript and all we can do that. But yeah, you have to focus on grid system, and you can uh, in your own way you can build that. You know how you can how these are taking containers, how they are taking that rows. What exactly row has the properties they made? When you are adding row, what are the properties Bootstrap is adding to row class? The split flex that we are seeing, sometimes you know you can see like a margin minus values also, why they are giving and all. See all the information. So I'm not sure whether you will go with that like in you know, video tutorials and or, or else articles in the website, whatever the way it is, right? Mm -hmm. And practice it. Yes, if you have a question, come back to me. Definitely, you'll have a question. If you are saying that, and I understand, I don't have a question. That means you are not actually doing the right practice. I'm not mm -hmm. saying all of them. When it comes to this, because when you see, uh, it, it, you know, you think that okay, it is easy. I understand that it is easy. But when you really practice that, no, you'll get a mad that for sure. You won't. Yeah. You're not getting that in a proper uh, expected result. That time definitely you will. Yeah, you may get a questions and you you may stuck somewhere. No issues. Mm -hmm. We'll spend the time. I'll spend the time on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe in a one or two. There's no issues. But that is the bottom line. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep that in mind and you know plan your days accordingly. Will do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chill then. All right, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye.